time of the year right now. We're all still indoors, a little stuffy. It's right after the holidays, and we just took our tree uh -huh. down. Yeah. But I really love having greenery in my home, and I love to do like a, a plant revamp, if you will. Right. So that's what we're going to do today. A okay. plant revamp. All right, guys, so this is just a copper coil wire that I got at the hardware store. You can uh -huh. find it in the refrigeration section at your hardware store. We've got some decorative twine, uh, some floral wire. This is a cutter for the copper wire. Uh -huh. And of course, a, a drill bit. This is a plastic trash can bucket. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Use the drill bit to uh, make some holes so that you can actually feed this. Uh, this is actually rope, but and you can find this anywhere. anywhere. So it's very yes. simple. All right, let me show you what we're going to do. All right. Grab some floral wire and come All on right. over here. Whoa, wow. Yeah, isn't okay. this fun? Great yeah. shoes, by the oh, way. Oh, thanks, Look girl. That. that takes one to know one. Love it. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Here's your indoor plant that maybe okay. you've had. It's overgrowing, and you don't really quite know what to do with it in your home. This is really fun. All you do is you take the plant, you place it inside, uh -huh. and then you just simply take these nice little overgrown pieces, and you just kind of adhere it with the floral wire to the copper hoop. Why do I feel like mine's going to look like Little Shop of Horrors in a couple of seconds? I love Little Shop of Horrors! Yeah, but you don't want it in your house. That's true. You definitely don't want it in your house. Do you feel like it's one of the biggest mistakes that people make when renovating? Um, really, it's about the process of going through the design and managing the project. And a lot of times, people are just not really equipped to do that, that which is why I always recommend at least consulting with an interior designer. You can yeah. find an interior designer in your local area really affordably on Yelp, which is a really cool um, application to use to find someone in your area, which I love. Oh, yeah. How are you doing with the floral wire? Are you finding it easy to use? Yeah, I think so. I love some floral wire. Yeah. <laughs> you get this really, really incredible, like, copper halo, yeah. if you will. Oh, yeah, look at that. Which yeah. plants do you think work best for this? Well, I love this philodendron, which is what we guys are working with now. But anything with vine, I really like these plush leaves. They really uh -huh. tend to showcase well on a, on a project like this. Oh, hey, yeah. Ben, you're doing something there. I, wait, see. that's not right? No, you're doing good. Here's the great part. If you don't like it, you just undo the floral you wire. Just undo it yeah. and start over. Okay. You can use twisty ties. You don't even have to use floral wire. Like, we're really winging it here. You can do whatever. But once and you, you want to make sure to get... that the wire's not too tight because so the plant can exactly. still Exactly. And then you get a halo, kind of like this. Ta-da! Beautiful. Thanks, nice. <laughs> okay, guys. So how do you keep your house plants? You have some tips for house plants staying alive throughout Absolutely. the winter, right? Absolutely. Through the winter, one of the common mistakes is that plants either dry out or you tend to overwater them. If they're drying out, turn your humidifier on because it keeps things nice and moist in the room. And then also, if they're uh, if they do tend to dry out, just throw a couple of ice cubes in the plant like once or twice a week. It helps to, to to water them and not overwhelm the plant with too much water. I think I'm done. Is that right, Lauren? It That's looks good pretty. to me. Really? I'm here it's for it. It's a pretty little plant. <laughs> you. Yeah. Thank you, Lauren Matt. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. You so much.